what is up guys it is me Quinkin and welcome back to episode number three of my journey career mode with New England Revolution now in today's video we're gonna be facing the Whitecaps in the MLS Cup but before we get into that game I want to do something I want to allocate uh, my wages so that I have more of a transfer budget so I can hire a scout and send them uh, to Mexico or somewhere because I want to get some young players into my team I can't go into the transfer market yet, so this would be a good idea to get some young players into our squad so uh, let's do that right now Anthony O'Connor is the scout that I selected he costs us 6.6 .6 million dollars so he better be worth it he's in trends right now but he is Canadian and he has four star experience and four star judgment in a couple of days he's gonna come and we're gonna tell him where we want him to go but for now we do get our scout he cost us, he cost us a lot of money so hopefully he does get us some good players, but with that, let's get into the squad that will be facing the Whitecaps in our second league game. So this is the squad that I decided to go for today. In the goalkeeping position, we have Shuttleworth, who conceded the best goal that I've ever seen in my life in the first game versus Houston Dynamo. This guy, Jesus Christ, he did have some saves, but that goal he conceded was too insane. And the defenders we do have is Alston, Goncalves, Barnes, who came in for Suarez, and Pharrell on the right back position. Suarez was tired, so I put in Barnes. And in the midfield, we have Jones as a defensive mid, Nugent uh, as a center mid, Kobayashi replaces Rowe. We have Fangundes on the wing with Burnberry. And we have Mbongo, who almost scored in the first game as a substitute. And we took out Charlie Davis and we put in Mullins. I want him to play also, so hopefully this does do well, and hopefully we get the three points versus the Whitecaps. Here we go, New England Revolution versus Whitecaps FC, and we are finally home, and this is going to be such an important game. We got a draw in our first game of the league season, so hopefully in this home game we can get the three points, and hopefully we can make our fans happy. The first game after Nick was very good. We had a lot of chances, but we couldn't put them in back of the net. Hopefully in this game, we learn from our mistakes, and hopefully we can beat the Whitecaps in today's game. But now let's see the squad that Whitecaps FC bring versus us today. They have Alstead in goal, Morales up front who is actually a decent player. They went with a very weird 4-1-2-1-2, uh, so they're not going to have any wingers. Their wingers are going to be their fullbacks, so we have to take advantage of that. They are going to have a congested midfield, so hopefully we don't lose a lot of balls in the midfield. But with that, let's get into the game. Alston's here. Here's Fangundes. We leave it for Kobayashi. Jermaine Jones get a little closer. Jermaine Jones, this guy's the main player on our team. Here we go. Oh my god, what a ball. Great defense still. We need to get that perfect pass in. Yeah, and I think there were plenty of plus points there. Uh, they defended quite well. Uh, you just want to take things a step on now. Oh, great job, Goncalves. We win the ball in the midfield. Can Mbongo get that? That's a great pass. Fangundes is on it. We need Fangundes to run on the wing again. Fangundes on the wing once again. Do some dribbling. There we go. Keep going. Fangundes with the dribbling. He's right in front. There's a shot. What a save. Jesus Christ. Fangundes wants to score. The dribbling was insane. And that goalkeeping save. Jesus Christ. We get the corner. To be honest, we're playing pretty well. But I do want a little more pressure in the midfield. They're just going past us. Look at that. They have too, many spa too much space in the midfield. So hopefully... We can pressure him a little more. Laba's on it. Alston, get on the mark. Great defending. Can we get the ball? Yes, we can. Can we get on the counterattack now? Fangundes asks for the ball. He gets it. Mbongo's on the wing. Keep going, Mbongo. Mbongo. Yes, Mbongo. Keep going. Burnberry, get your ass on the wing. No one's in the middle. We're going to have to wait for Fangundes to get in. There's the header. God damn it. Fangundes is a little small for that. Alston, what kind of tackle was that? Keep the mark on him. Keep the mark. He centers it in. No. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. It hits the post twice. What the hell? I'm pretty surprised that we haven't scored a goal yet. Fangundes had the clearest chance. We're doing pretty well in the midfield and defense. We are drawing at the moment. Nail, nail. Pharrell's on the ball now. We need Pharrell to go up on the wing. Nugent. Here is Mbongo. Can Mbongo do something? Oh my god, that skill. Mbongo, what kind of shot was that, man? You pull off the hardest part to do, and the shot is so weak, man. Come on. 
Chiefs. I don't know. There's total chaos in the box right now. There is total chaos. They're going to go for the shot. And they're going to score. No. What? Get in there. Get in there. Yes, I knew they were going to score. Defense is all over the place. 58th minute. We're losing 1-0. And, uh, you know, Whitecaps deserve it. They had some good opportunities. And they're up 1-0, man. What is up with our defense? Come on. Great job, Goncalves. Kobayashi with Fangundes. Fangundes has to do something today. Jones. Jermaine Jones opening wide to Burnberry. Yes, I love this football. Burnberry's on the way. He gets past one. Imbongo's in the middle. Imbongo, you better score this. Oh my god. Imbongo was right in front. Beautiful pass from Burnberry. But what is this Imbongo? We are down 1-0 and things are not looking good for us. So we're going to put Jermaine Jones in the center mid spot. And we're going to take out Kobayashi and put in Caldwell who has decent defensive stats. Hopefully Jones can help out the attack and we can be a little more offensive. We need to score a goal. That is all I'm going to say. We need to score. That is what we needed. We get a free kick. We all know who's going to take the free kick. Nugan, you, you scored the goal for us. Can you do it again? Can you do it again? That is a question. Can Nugent score a second goal? Oh my god. Nugent, you were so close. Look at this. Oh. Why did Barnes go up? Why did Barnes go up? Goncalves. Oh Jesus Christ. You're going to center the ball in. Someone challenge him. No, that's bad. Take it out. That's the header. Thank God that went wide. Where was Barnes going? Jermaine Jones with Fangundes. Fangundes with the cut. Beautiful job. Fangundes is in. Fangundes is in. Oh, no. Fangundes hits the freaking post. Ah, man. We are getting so unlucky. We are going to go all out attack. We have three minutes left. So we're going to take out Alston. I have a more defensive player. We have Tierney in. And we are also gonna put in uh, we are also gonna put in McCarthy for Barnes, who hasn't been playing that well. So hopefully this will work out. We need to score. We have three minutes left. Let's get right into it. They are parking the bus. Fangundes, get in! Get in, Fangundes! God damn it! The goalie's saving every damn shot. Oh yes! Yes! Tierney, get in Tierney, Mbongo, this is your chance, Mbongo, yes, yes, Mbongo ties the game 1-1, Tierney wins the ball, I knew that putting him in would help us out, Tierney wins the ball, I think it was him, but Mbongo scores, Mbongo scores the winning, not the winning goal, the drawing goal, we tie the game, god dang it, yes. This was a very suspenseful game and my substitutions really did help out with only three minutes left in the game and like two minutes of additional added time. We come out of here with the draw. We tie versus the Whitecaps 1-1 at home and we went down early in the game. We went down 1-0 and look at us. We were dominating this game. We had nine shots, three on target, 56% possession, one goal. Well. Whitecaps were pretty good, man. They had five shots, two on target, one goal, but we had so many shots on target. Fangundes, god damn it, he was playing so well, but he couldn't score. And in Bongo, he had a ton of chances, and he finally scored in the last minute to give us a draw. And we do save ourselves one point out of three. And overall, this was a very good game. Let's see who got the highest rating. The highest rating does go to Mbongo, who got 7.5. He scored the goal, but Fangundes, man, he played so well. He got 6.3. Burnberry, who I did, didn't really use in the game, got a 6.8. So thank God that Mbongo scored that goal, and we do get the one point, and hopefully we do well in the league. Let's see how we're doing in the league table. Before we go and check out the league table, we do get the news that our scout has arrived. So we will do this in the next episode. I just want to see how we're doing in the league table. But we're going to set up and sort out our scout in the next episode. And you guys will see where we send them off to. It could be Europe. It could be South America. It could be North America. It doesn't matter. I just want to send this guy and get a very good young player or player. So hopefully this scout's very good for us. But now let's see how we're doing in the league table. 
So overall, this is how we are in the league table. We have two games played, two draws, two points, and we're right behind DC United and Philadelphia Union, but we're ahead of Chicago Fire and New York Red Bulls, but DC United has only played one game. They have one more game to play, so they can potentially take the lead of our Eastern Conference. Now let's move on to the Western Conference. Now in the Western Conference, Chivas USA and Sounders FC are tied for first place with six points. They have the same goal difference and they both have two wins. And the Whitecaps, who we drew against, is in second place. They have one win, one draw, four points. FC Dallas and Portland, uh, pretty much the same with zero goal difference and three points. So that is how the Western Conference is looking. And let's see our schedule for the next couple of weeks. So this is how our schedule looks for the next couple of weeks. We're going to be facing Philadelphia Union on Saturday. So that should be a very good game because they're in first place in the Western Conference. They're going to have two weeks off, which is going to be insanely good for us because we need our players to come back fit. And we might have Castillon back by that time. And then we're going to be facing the San Jose Earthquakes on Sunday. So we have two very good games coming up. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, remember to leave a like and a comment down below about what you thought about today's video and subscribe if you're new. If you did miss any episodes, I will leave a link to the playlist in the description down below. And if you did miss the other upload for today, I will leave that also in the description. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm putting a lot of effort into these videos. So that is pretty much it. I'm Quinkin and I'll see you guys next time. Get back, boy.